say that ODM cannot and shall never be intimidated. We are a party that stands for justice, democracy, and a party that has fought for uh, against the ills uh, committed towards Kenyans for many years. So we will continue to uphold those values and we will be not be intimidated by anyone, either within Azimio coalition or even outside Azimio coalition. On the matter of Azimio coalition, I want to state categorically that ODM does not have a coalition agreement with Kenya Kwanza or UDA. If those who are telling us that we are in government care, I want to advise them to read the Political Parties Act, which is very clear that parties can only get into a coalition arrangement if they sign a coalition agreement and have it filed with the registrar of political parties. If you care, members of the media, I want to request you to visit the office of the registrar of political parties and find out whether there is any coalition agreement between ODM and Kenya Kwanza. There is none. So when they tell us that we have joined government, on what basis are they saying that? Is there any coalition agreement? There is none. So we think that these people are just uh, playing drama and the ODM is such a serious party which is not ready for drama. We are a party that has huge representation across the country and we cannot be intimidated. Azimio, ODM is a principal partner in Azimio coalition. We cannot be lectured by some of our junior partners in the, part, in the coalition that we leave coalition. In fact, some of the partners in the coalition, we are even questioning their status in the coalition. Jubilee party, for example, when Honebo Kioni talks about Jubilee, which Jubilee is he talking about? We know we have two factions in Jubilee. We have the Sabina Cheges Jubilee, and we have uh, Kioni's One Man Jubilee. <laughs> you cannot intimidate a big party like ODM. I think, Mr. Kioni, uh, we want to advise you to read the law and to visit the office of the Registrar of Political Parties. And I want also to caution them that uh, any attempt to push ODM out of Azimio will be very detrimental to those people who are pushing that arrangement. Because ODM will still remain a single major party in the opposition, based on the numbers that we have in the National Assembly and in the Senate. And that cannot change. And in fact, I'm also inviting them to read the standing orders of uh, National Assembly and the Senate. And they will discover that it may be only wiper is the only parliamentary party in the National Assembly, but the rest have no status. So, Wamalua, Eugene, shut up. <laughs> shut up. In fact, some of your members have already declared support for ODM in the House, and we are considering to put them in committees. So, I am speaking as a deputy party leader of ODM, and we are saying, ODM cannot be intimidated. Mm. It intimidated just because we have allowed a few of our members to join government. And in I am not going to speak for very long. I want to be very clear. First, let me thank God for bringing us this far. You can see my family here. We have been through a lot of trauma. I want to thank them for standing with me 
during the last two or three weeks of what you call crooked Ruto's anarchy. Crooked Ruto's anarchy. And I want to address William Samoy Ruto here. The courts today have, have, have upheld the constitution of this country. And you seem to be trying to live in an era that has long passed. William Ruto, why do you fear me? If you fear me, be a man, come and deal with me properly, Kiwanjani Asiasa, not in my home, terrorizing my family, and not in these courts with trumped up charges. You are afraid that we are redefining the politics of this nation. We are moving away from a myopic tribe and region. Your useless kutenga and lies. We have now moved to the realm of the truth and issue-oriented politics, based primarily today on the economy of Kenya. Debate me on the economy. Don't try and create criminality in your muck. I'm not going to join your pigsty. It is a pigsty. William Ruto, know today I am coming for you because I believe Ruto must go. Santa Santa. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>